All right, YouTube, what's going on? We're here. We're going to do an oil change on a 2008 Kawasaki KFX 450R. We're going to lift the back end of it. You can do it like that. Or if you have a jack, you can go ahead and lift that up as well. Um, just get it up, the ass end up in the air. It's going to be your first step. Second like step, you're going to get a 17 mil. Get something down here. Get your oil. I have a big hole right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Gotta get it right there, guys. Give it a nice little um tug, and you should be able to loosen it up and get the oil coming out. Go out, then um go ahead. There's another Hi. little eight millimeter. Hi, Daddy. Hi, baby. There's another little eight millimeter in there. You're gonna want to go ahead and take that one out as well, and let that drain out also. Okay. 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 If you have a two-year-old, it makes it a little bit harder. What are you doing? I'm trying to get this, sweetie. Oh, the oil, the oil, guys. Say that. The oil, I want The 8 millimeter is directly in front of the 17. Once you guys get that out, go ahead and slide that forward as well. I'm going to get some oil. And I did take the quad down from the cooler just to make sure to get it all out. Um, now once I get the 8 millimeter and the 17 out, let uh, You guys gotta have your first hole, find it. Once you find it, just start threading close slowly. Mommy! <clears throat> Thread it by hand. Snug it up by hand. I'm gonna get this right here. Mommy. Mommy. Make sure you put it on tight. Then you're just gonna give it one. A little snug. And that's good right there. That's that's what you want. You don't wanna go over that, you don't wanna go crazy with it or any of that. Just nice little snug gonna do the job make sure the washer is on the nut so you guys can see the washer there make sure that is there okay same thing for this one I'm gonna get my 17 socket it's gonna have the second hole on the skid plate if you have the factory skid plate go ahead and thread it up there <clears throat> it should go nice and easy all the way up If it's not, then um, something is definitely wrong. Take it out and make sure that you didn't cross through something or make sure that everything is good. Same thing with this one. We got to give it a nice little snug. That's tight there. So we're going to go probably about half a turn more, quarter. And that right there, that's good enough right there. That's nice and tight. We didn't go crazy over it. I put too much force because you cross thread this bolt, guys, and it is a nightmare and a half. So, all right, next on, we're gonna do a filter that's gonna be eight mils. Yeah. Gonna have two eight mils here, one here, one here. Uh, this cover's gonna uh, come out. Gonna have your filter in there. Oh, um, yeah. The filter does go yeah. one way, yeah. and um, it's got o rings in here, so make sure you have your o rings ready as well. Got the oil drained out of the machine. We're gonna go ahead and come over here. Eight mil. Loosen them up. And then you can unscrew by hand. I 
Some people like to stick, stick screwdrivers in here and pry them out. I necessarily don't like to do that because once you start breaking that lip, you're going to end up breaking the seal even though it has a O-ring inside of it. So if you take your time and you work it out, it will come out. I leave this threaded so that it doesn't pop out on me because it, it is spring loaded. Just come on nice and easy. Always make sure where everything is facing. Got two o rings here, I'm gonna have to replace and your oil filter. The rubber piece goes to the it goes onto the um, cap. So make sure that goes back in there. Then you have your little spring that goes inside the middle. Look at that. Make sure that stays centered as well. Okay. Now I'll wipe that up with a clean rag and um, we'll go ahead and insert the new oil filter in there and new o rings. Now, you guys, grab your spring. Make sure it goes back in here. I need Just back in the center. Grab your new oil filter. Wet the rubber right here. And we'll make sure that that spring is centered up. And then softly push in. Make sure that the O rings don't get bonded up. Pull the center of it. Start your bolts. Make sure the rubber part of the filter is towards the cap of the towards the cap of the oil filter because if it is not, um, you're gonna blow up your engine fairly quickly because it is just gonna be blocked off. There's no oil gonna be running through it. And then I like to do one on one. So they can tie simultaneously and not crash the whole ring. <clears throat> Once you got that on, um, you're gonna get your flathead, open this up, refill your oil. It's gonna be it's gonna have a sticker right here telling you what the capacity is. It's gonna be on liters. So it says filter not remove 1.15, filter remove 1.20, and completely dry 1.35. I will go to 1.30 and then check it, make sure that it's good on my side glass. Alright, y'all, like I said, get a big screwdriver, flathead, turn it, shouldn't be too too tight. Pop it out, inspect your gasket. Now, get a nice little funnel. This is milliliters and ounces. Alright, guys, once you put the first um, full bottle, um, like I said, it says filter removed, it's gonna be 1.20 liters uh, 1.20 liter transfers to 40 fluid ounces and as you can see in here is uh, 32 fluid ounces so we already put one whole quart in there now we're missing eight ounces 
So you got the measurement right here. We're gonna go to about Mommy. probably about five ounces and then check our side glass, see where it looks like, and then um if we need more from there, just add uh, currently but uh, other than that should be good to go we're gonna turn it on afterwards check for leaks make sure everything looks good give it a couple of revs um just let the engine actually warm up on its own that way it can lubricate itself